if you're a woman who has gone through your education, you've dedicated yourself to achieving a degree, you know, your mother's generation wasn't able to achieve this and you're the first person that's maybe gone to uni or got a bachelor's or got a master's or got a PhD, and then you spend some time in a career grinding away and you now earn 150 grand a year, and you think, right, I'm 31, I'd love to settle down, this would be amazing for me. Where are all of the men at? I, hang on a second. And what you realize is that not only now are you competing with all of the other increasing cohort of women that are high achievers with status, employment, and education, but you're also competing with a 21-year-old barista who still lives at home with her parents for this small cohort of guys. That requires sympathy for women, okay? That is not a good position for women to be in. At the same time, this huge cohort of sexless men, 30% of men haven't had sex in the last year, 50% of men say that they are not looking for a relationship. You are a man. You have been through your 20s. You know the power of the male sex drive between the ages of 18 and 30. Can you imagine getting yourself into a situation where you say, I'm not bothered about pursuing women? That is an unbelievably extreme statement for men to make. And they're self-identifying as this in Pew Research data. This isn't on incel forums. This is Pew Research. 50% of men aren't looking for a relationship. When they say aren't looking for a relationship, do they mean I'm not looking for a woman or I'm not looking for commitment? And not actively pursuing any kind of interaction with women. Oh, shit. Casual included. What? 